Seals need to slip in unnoticed and avoid a showdown on the shoreline. They insert and extract using discrete surface and submerged craft that guarantee them a low profile. Our main goal is not to be seen. If we're seen, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. But there's one small, highly maneuverable boat that has been the SEAL's workhorse for 40 years. The Combat Rubber Raiding Craft. These are the boats that have been the mainstay of the Frogmen from the very first days in the Pacific in World War II all the way to present day. The name synonymous with CRRCs is Zodiac. The Zodiac is very familiar to every member of the teams who served in the past 20 or 30 years. It is the rubber boat where they ride on the tubes, leaning forward, weapons at the ready. The Zodiac's genesis began with primitive blow-up boats used by the U.S. Navy in World War II. In the Pacific War, Navy and Marine personnel used small inflatables as lifeboats and for transporting supplies to and from shore. The UDT teams used them for rapid deployment of swimmers in the water and to get close to beaches for recon and demolition raids. Shortly after the SEALs were commissioned in 1962, they adopted the Zodiac. Marrying its strong structure with an outboard engine, they had at their disposal a tough, highly stable craft. The Zodiac Inflatable is an inherently very, very stable platform. Those main buoyancy tubes are near impossible to uh, submerge. You can't tip this boat over. Think if you had a truck inner tube and you were at the beach and you tried to hold it below the water. It's near impossible. So you have a very reliable platform uh, from which to conduct your mission. 